Uh, it's working. Uh, well, on uh, Wikipedia you can do a lot of stuff. Uh, you can uh, talk about technic. Okay. Uh, you can talk about uh, technical stuff and uh, I pref uh, as I am working on uh, Croatian Wikipedia, which is... Uh, Uh, which last month uh, made uh, uh, 100,000 100, uh, articles. Uh, uh, I prefer to to have uh, most uh, accent on uh, content of uh, Wikipedia. <coughs> so, uh, this presentation came, came to existence out of my consternation uh, or way some users are able to misuse the system of categorization of uh, Wikipedia. Uh -huh. I, I was introduced, I'm Speedy Gonzalez. A number of articles doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, we heard uh, that uh, aim is uh, to get uh, 50 million of articles. Okay, let's, let's do it. Uh, categorization system on Wikipedia arose, if I'm correct, uh, from two needs. Uh, category system uh, uh, put uh, in use somewhere around 2003 or 2004, I, I, I don't recall exactly, uh, to, out of, uh, to eliminate the need for manual making of lists of articles. Because uh, <coughs> users uh, who wanted to cover some uh, area, uh, at start there was almost uh, some areas w w w weren't cover covered at all. So uh, users uh, um, made the lists of uh, what they, they will uh, write to do, but, but uh, in the main namespace. <coughs> Second, uh, mo most uh, important also today, because uh, first need is el eliminated, is to facilitate the easy finding of uh, related articles, to facilitate better structure organization of articles. <coughs> On uh, big projects like English Wikipedia, etc., etc., uh, categorization system is relatively easy to implement. <coughs> it's uh, when, well, uh, when you have a million or three million or, or, or uh, whatever uh, big number, uh <coughs> it is pretty obvious which categories are needed. Uh, but what to do on small projects uh, when they have uh, 5,000 ar articles? Uh, will, you have, uh, will, will you start uh, at first uh, making a categorization uh, system uh, of uh, 100 or of 1,000 or of 10,000 of categories? And you have uh, 100 articles, let's, uh, for example. <coughs> uh, so you can uh, use uh, from uh, libraries bec uh, UDK, Universal Decimal Classification, or to make a custom system or, or somewhere in between. To uh, allow empty categories uh, at all, or to disallow them completely. Number of articles in categories. Uh, to limit them to, to 200, uh, as the number of, of articles is shown by default on one page, or to leave it uh, unlimited. <coughs> Because uh, th there was uh, situations when uh, <coughs> on some projects uh, y uh, you uh, were going to some top uh, category in which are articles, and then you, you, you can go, uh, travel downward uh, the tree to, to the leaf where is the articles, and uh, few categories, uh, two or three, can be empty in the middle. Uh, is that uh, sensible? Well, uh, in the long run, it is, but uh, what message uh, users, new users, uh, which came for information to uh, uh, Wikipedia, uh, what message uh, the people get if they find uh, empty categories? Ah. <laughs> also to turn to, to other <laughs> part of auditorium, okay. Uh, uh, from these two needs, categorization, categorization system in some articles on at least two wikis, uh, based analysis and con conclusions originate from authors, mine experience on, uh, on my home wiki and then any Wikipedia, but examples of both strengths and pitfalls span some 10 Wikipedia projects. Ah, this is boring. <coughs> okay, 
Let's go. Uh, although experienced users, administrators of Wikipedia can treat problems uh, which arise with uh, cate cate categories, same as all other problems which arise every day in busy schedule of active administrator. Uh, I told today, uh, I was yesterday in a mu mu museum here, here in Hi-Fi of uh, Japan and took a picture of uh, Katana. And uh, I told uh, it's, uh, Katana is a good tool for uh, every good admin. <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, sharing of, uh, of best practices can be of use because categorization uh, is actually not a small thing. Uh, as if need arise to change categories from thousand or more articles, that means uh, as much edits on database, technical, uh, be it manual or both executed, and overall structure of ca ca categories have to be well thought. Uh, uh, when some uh, small project is starting, uh, making categories and recategorization of articles uh, was uh, uh, oftentimes uh, done manually, and users um, uh, s sp spent time. They they lost actually th their time, uh, days, weeks. Uh, f uh, to for recategorization rec instead of uh, writing articles. And that's, of course, uh, we, we want to avoid such, such situations. <sighs> On Wikimania website, uh -huh, what I didn't write. Uh, uh, this part of uh, presentation was uh, all written in a summary on uh, Wikimania uh, we website, so if you read it, that was start. What I didn't wrote on Wikimania website and was and what also exists, uh, and what I uh, personally uh, have found uh, to be dis disturbing for me, because uh, it's uh, hmm, it's affecting uh, what message uh, articles on uh, uh, Wikipedia are. Uh, giving to people who, who read it. Category sexual can be used in some really ah, dirty, uh, maybe harsh word, like either both pushing or, or unnecessary or more or less slight violation of both Wikipedia biogra biographies of living persons and this is a long, s long two sentences from uh, about uh, deceased individuals. But uh, mm. Example is uh, more, I think, uh, interesting. Uh, I uh, took uh, Joseph Stalin because uh, he's, uh, let's say, a long time dead, and uh, he's well uh, sourced. Uh, that part of uh, history is uh, good uh, analyzed. <coughs> uh, on Eng English Wikipedia, uh, there are 32 c categories. I is it maybe too many? Uh, uh, please raise your hand if you think this is too many. <laughs> okay, uh, point taken. <coughs> or is there a set number which you, uh, we should call too many? Uh, that's question. Uh, I, I I I don't. Uh, well, uh, I at this <laughs> at this slide I, I don't have answer. Uh, but we, we will uh, come again. Uh, sense of category category smallpox survivors. Does that define him? Joseph Stalin, in encyclopedical significant way. Uh, is that category necessary to be in this article? <laughs> okay. Uh, just these two remarks. Uh, we, we, we could uh, talk about uh, some, some other categories uh, and discuss. <laughs> uh, or should uh, he have category mass murders? Uh, this is uh, getting more messy. Uh, current solution is uh, Stalin have uh, category ho Holodomor uh, perpetrators, which is uh, actually subcategory of category mass murders. Uh, with, uh, and uh, Holodomor perpetrators uh, have uh, in total uh, six articles. So uh, should be, uh, exist Holodomor perpetrators uh, uh, category or just mass murders? Well, that's a question. <coughs> uh, more of example, but uh, this time other uh, projects. Uh, BS, uh, Josip Vissarionic, etc. Uh, one category. Vojtje Sovjetskog Saveza or in 
leaders of Soviet Union. Better than uh, English Wikipedia? Who thinks it's better? Raise his hand. <laughs> okay, point thank you. Uh, creation, Joseph Stalin, uh, nine categories. No mention of mass murders. I'm not uh, writing this or citing this because I'm proud of, of uh, Creation Wiki. I'm writing because I'm aware of problem and I would like that others also be aware on their wikis. Uh, HR Wiki uh, does not have category mass murders, but have c category uh, genocides, in which there is an uh, article Holodomor. Uh, something to, to think of. Category people co convicted of war crimes on English Wikipedia. Uh, Ratni zločinci war criminals on BS Wiki. Probably most would uh, agree that Stalin is uh, guilty for war crime. Katyn would massacre, uh, Katyn massacre, it's an article on English Wikipedia. But he's not convicted by, uh, by any court, if, if I'm uh, correct. Uh, so he's not war criminal for English Wikipedia, just hold him on a paper taper, meaning was murder. BS Wiki has uh, Ratni zločinci uh, war criminals in uh, Second World War, uh, but there is no Stalin there. Uh, you, you think somewhere uh, else is better? Uh, you see cat uh, actual categories on uh, German Wikipedia. Uh, uh, the wiki, 21 categories, more than uh, HR and BS, less than over <laughs> overkill, okay, uh, at English Wikipedia. Mas massacre of Bonkatin is mentioned, which is subcategory of Sovietische Besetzung Ostpolens, uh, Deutschland in Zweiten Weltkrieg, uh, and Oblast Polensk. So he's evidently no war criminal. Because uh, massacre of von, von Katyn uh, <coughs> is not in uh, uh, upper level category l l called or either war criminals or, or convicted war criminals. He's in uh, uh, category Tether, uh, uh, that's Gross and Terror, Soviet Union, which is in Soviet Union, etc. Uh, so again, no mass murder. Uh, should we go further? Uh, I think not. Окей. Я говорит маленько по-русски. Окей. Point taken. And a good one. I I just needed to choose some uh, projects and uh, I chose uh, projects uh, which I'm uh, best know their languages. <coughs> My first point would be categorization system on big Wikipedias is elaborate. Uh, uh, I called it big because uh, project is not big uh, by merit of number of articles but by number uh, but by uh, quality of articles. <coughs> Uh, but is either funny, read uh, in my opinion ridiculous, in part like any uh, wiki example of Stalin, or not adequate enough, all wikis. Uh, okay, uh, uh, slide 12. <coughs> On small wikis categorization system is sometimes too small. Her wiki is shining as example. But what to do? To have two categories like war criminals and convicted war criminals. Convicted war criminals is exact category. It's uh, fine because you, you can uh, find out uh, who is convicted and who is not. But war criminals per se can be tricky. Uh, you have to source that. Is it better to have it or not to have it? Where to go, how to solve this conundrum? Uh, to make global meta rules about c categories. Uh, I do not uh, like metapolis. Uh, mm, okay, uh, to allow uh, to allow uh, category smallpox survivor for Stalin on any wiki, or to try to limit number of categories in articles, at least project by project, or to leave the idea of systemic solution uh, uh, leave out of the picture and expect that in time all non-necessary categories will be deleted and necessary uh, categories will be added. Question. <laughs> Uh, once again, uh, category war criminals, to have it or not, possible so solution. Uh, when I first time envisioned this presentation, I had no idea how to solve it. Uh, it came gradually to me. 
uh, maybe not to limit number of categories, but to minimize the, uh, the system to meaningful ones. Leaders of Soviet Union, for example, uh, and not uh, and categories which are not evil enough uh, to take uh, to remove them. Born the tier, this is the tier. <coughs> and to leave all other possibly discriminating categories either missing or hard to define, uh, to be written in articles and properly sourced. So nobody uh, could uh, uh, ask or deny or whatever. To make that meta policy. And even if that becomes a meta policy, question of decision which categories are meaningful. Every sound project should be able to, to do it for itself, but is it the best solution, as we are already talking about it? Uh, almost end. Uh, if somebody con uh, congratulated her age uh, creation. Yes? Yes? Yes, yes. Of course. Uh, I envisioned that uh, there, there will be a lot of questions, but uh, unfortunately uh, we are short on time. So uh, we, we can uh, talk about uh, this problem on Meta later and also here on Wikimania. I'm here and uh, I want to, to change things. Okay. Uh, if someone created a uh, creation weekend for 100,000 uh, articles and I forgot to respond to it, thank you. Okay, a remark. Uh, if article about a deceased man uh, over 50 years uh, and uh, well documented source that can raise any questions, uh, what could anybody wrote uh, about some living person categories across 10 or 50 bigger Wikipedias? Messy or perfect? You know what you think about that. And uh, the cup. Uh, meta policy. Meta uh, solution similar to idea of Omega Wiki applied to person's data. Uh, Omega Wiki was an idea I heard four years ago on one of Wiki conference, uh, where uh, a, a, a person's data, I, 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 I don't know, do you uh, know of that idea or not, uh, where uh, person's data would be collected on one project and uh, by templates uh, imported to all others. Every project uh, to solve his uh, own problem? If so, how to best solve tricky, not exact categories? Uh, convicted mass murderers or mass murderers? Of course. Uh, thanks. And strings. I, I've uh, told, uh, talk, uh, talked uh, only about pitfalls. Strings. Thank you for your attention. Okay. If this presentation changes something or solves some problem, whenever that may be, I'm already happy. I wrote about consternation, pitfalls. So I never mentioned strings. Well, you all know strings by heart if you are using Wikipedia at all. Sometimes, with slight help from web search engines, you can find the needed data at least 10 times faster than 10 years ago. And more if there were no categories either or something like Alta Vista. Huh. Hasta la vista. Alta Vista. Okay. Uh, well, Two, two slides more. <laughs> uh, disclaimer again. Uh, second disclaimer. I chose B Best Wiki because I understand uh, the language and point is evident. And uh, current situation depicted is uh, most possibly usual for a project in an evolving phase. Uh, I want to uh, congratulate Hebrew Wikipedians for having a, de a depth of 230, which is second only to English Wikipedia, which is, of course, first. Uh, I would like to know, is the result of no bot mass adding articles or because of it? Uh, I heard one answer in, in the meantime. And, and really, yeah. Uh, more is reserved for members of uh, Wikipedia, Wikimedia Cabal, be afraid, you were warned. Read this, read this fast like Pills medical disclaimer and make one so small that nobody can read it without a lot of effort. Thanks. Now. Okay, thank you very much, Speedy Gonzalez. And uh, did our first speaker have arrive? You? Okay, did our first speaker is here? Okay, so please welcome uh, Mark Mikkel. Yeah, Mr. Mark Mikkel. He's uh, going to talk now.
<laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks a lot for uh, Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay, please welcome Mark Mikkel. And thank you for presenting me. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to be talking about difference. Difference uh, in languages, difference in content. So that means that we all are making an encyclopedia, but we all do it in a different way in a different perspective, uh, uh, in content, in way of writing. Mm -hmm. And so that is what I've been doing my research on. And I call it also a cultural configuration, because in this uh, explaining the, the world, uh, the knowledge, we all do it in a different way, in a cultural way. So my start point was, what motivates Wikipedians? This is like the most important question everybody's making for the last 10 years on Wikipedia's existing. And uh, among them, there are many answers uh, for uh, fun, for uh, altruistic reasons, for believing that content must be free. Uh, but I think that uh, there was one lacking, which was to be identified with the same content you're writing, which is uh, something that it seems obvious, but nobody was giving us a reason. And so, I came up with the idea that there was also a national motivation or a, some of ethnocentric motivation. I want to write about my content, about my, uh, what I have in my nearby environment, which can be the nation, can be the language uh, activity, can be whatever that relates the, to the self. And so I called the Catalan Association of Wikipedia to know who was the, who was the topic. And they told me that they, they had some uh, issues, some uh, discussions about it. So the, the first approach was to ask the people if the, that was a topic that was concerning them, if the, uh, there was conflict on uh, national issues, if the, they were concerned uh, about uh, where the money comes from, uh, if uh, who is editing. And uh, what we saw is like from 800 people that uh, in reading, People, they want to read this content. They want to read about their teams. They want to read about the church uh, in the same city they live. Uh, and besides that, it's a third of the conflicts they happen in this content. 50% of the users, they write about this content. And when they ask uh, who would they give the money for, they say that they would give it to the local association instead of the some other chapters or Wikimedia Foundation. So. Uh, since I'm not a really believer of what people say, and I prefer to prove it, to see how uh, it goes the, down to reality and uh, what they really write, what I did was to use a quanti quantitative uh, methodology using computing techniques to see uh, if I could understand, uh, finally, if by the, the content, if people were more motivated by these kind of local circumstances. So I define uh, self-focus or auto-referentiality or as the bias occurring when contributors uh, to a knowledge uh, repository think that this partic uh, particular content is more uh, important than others by other, uh, let's say, contributors. And this interest divergence between two different kinds of content, the local one, which is all this uh, mix of uh, stuff relating to the self, to the language, to the nation, multinations uh, in some Wikipedias uh, is more important. So this interest divergence could be uh, detected in many ways because uh, Wikipedia is a fantastic uh, object. It's an object uh, which is in the internet, which means it's technical. So we, get, we can see how large the articles are. We can see many, many things. So first, I needed the selection of the content to see which content could be called local content. I used a semantic uh, dimension. And uh, after this, I started defining other dimensions, which were very different from each other. 
and they could uh, show uh, different properties. Uh, isolation, if these articles were replicated to other um, Wikipedias, let's say if an article from the a school which was very important in my town and uh, it's important for Catalan history, it's maybe not important for Hebrew history, Hebrew uh, Wikipedia. Effort, if uh, the articles are very large, that means that people are putting a lot of effort in them. Uh, prominence, that's uh, sort of the page rank idea for Google. The more links an article has, the more important it is. Uh, endogamy, if uh, from the selection of articles which are local content, they have a lot of uh, uh, citations from uh, other articles from the local content. That means that this uh, sort of group of uh, articles are very endogamic. They, dis they define themselves in a very self way. <laughs> Uh, edition, if they have a lot of edits, and more important, if uh, a few number of editors, they, uh, they do it most of the, of the article. And temporal, I wanted to see if uh, this content was growing at the same rate than the whole Wikipedia, or if it was growing much more and much faster. So what I did was to choose the uh, uh, keywords, keywords for each language. I wanted to compare 20 languages, and I needed to uh, ground the local content in something that it w would not be d easy to discuss, that this is for sure uh, something local, something identifying. And I came across the, the gentilics and the territory names uh, in each language edition uh, to look for the content. So in English, uh, the, the list is quite large. But in some languages, it's very short. Uh, we could come with uh, English, United Kingdom, England, and Scotland, and all the articles which ha have these uh, words in the title, they are clearly a local content because uh, they define the, they are defining something about the, the English uh, heritage. And the categories after that, uh, which are also have these words in their title, they, uh, they can, uh, in a way, set some levels of, uh, in a graph which you can go down and identify and select more and more. It goes to specify in the content. And finally, you have very specific content, but related as well to the, the first words, which are the gentilics and territories. So for example, here, John Stuart Mill, which is a, an English uh, philosopher, uh, it doesn't have the word English in its title, but it's clear part of the English her uh, heritage. So I put it in the local content group. And this thing done for every Wikipedia uh, would give us a amount of content which we can uh, consider, which is local to the, the language, but not necessarily that important to others. This is the procedure I will skip. So having this lo local content and uh, having defined uh, different dimensions uh, in which we can an analyze them and uh, understand they, uh, they represent their interest, uh, what I wanted to know if the, there was uh, some much more autoreferential than others. So I came up with a, an index uh, to join all the different characteristics in a way that they can summarize uh, the value for the autoreferentiality. And uh, first of all, the local content, uh, I found out that was from 15 to 30 percent which is something that it's not uh, obvious. It's quite surprising because uh, it's a quite big amount of content and it happens uh, from languages which are up to a million and these uh, small ones then are maybe 3,000. And the first uh, result was that this local content was uh, much less replicated to other languages. It's something that it's intu intuitive but the, the results, they show that it's uh, even four times less replicated. Uh, the second uh, result was that this content wasn't necessarily longer when there was not much effort. That happens because the, there is content which is very uh, about uh, general topics, especially those who include the, which include the keywords, but also those very specific, which are very short articles of uh, one or two paragraphs. So this second one was not a very uh, good indicator for local content. Uh, the third one, the relational, was uh, very interesting because it showed uh, from all over the, the encyclopedia what was pointing to, 
to some articles which were local. And uh, we could see easily that they were the capitals, they were the, the important politicians, uh, uh, even football teams, uh, in the case of the Catalan Wikipedia. And it, it was a really interesting explanation for the kind of the culture uh, root, let's say, the more important concepts. And we could see that some uh, Wikipedias are very endogamic, like the Romanian, uh, that it was uh, showing that most of the articles from the selected content were only cited by the same selected content, so it was forming an isolated part of, of the encyclopedia. Uh, then, as uh, in editing, uh, we saw that it was very related to the, to the quantity of uh, bytes, to the length of the articles. But we also saw that uh, one of three anonymous editors was willing to contribute in this kind of content which is something very interesting to our starting point. What motivates Wikipedians? Somebody who's not uh, uh, having a nickname or doesn't uh, want to involve clearly in the community, uh, just thinks that they, uh, they want to something to be there and they decide to be this kind of content. And also, as uh, we predicted, the, the diversity of, uh, of edition is very low. So that means that 10% 10 10 of the users who contribute to this content makes the most, the biggest part of it. How is that different from other articles? Have you had problems? No. So if uh, there are like uh, 10 editors, 10 anonymous, three or four, they are, they are willing to edit in this kind of content. And uh, the last dimension, we saw that this kind of content was not growing uh, at the same pace than the, uh, the whole encyclopedias. So that means that, and uh, it's quite expected that this content will stop ending and the other one will continue growing because uh, it's more finite, uh, probably by due to uh, the notability or some kind of policies. So finally, we we got to the to the to the ranking of the, the index, the different uh, uh, languages, and we saw that some of them were very high due to some characteristics, and some others to some other characteristics. But in general, the more important one was the isolation and uh, the prominence, the, the number of citations. So to conclude, uh, I want to remark this uh, extension of a 25% uh, uh, of content, usually that it's local content. This is something that uh, I also presented in a, a meeting uh, for a small Wik Wikipedias, and they considered that it was uh, something shocking to them because uh, they had this uh, permanent worry that they were writing a lot about their themselves. But it also happens in other languages, like could be German, which is a big one. Uh, the Icelandic and Catalan are the biggest and the smallest, so it means that it's not related to the number of speakers, the number of the community. And uh, the main characteristic is that, that it's not replicated. It is more categorized, so, and that's an interesting conclusion as well. When we are writing about ourselves or what uh, we have closer, we want to have more categories. So that makes sense that the Russian one uh, with the Stalin, they have 50. <laughs> and, uh, and finally, it will uh, stop growing at the moment. <laughs> so thank you very much if you have any questions. Well, actually, it's there in uh, my webpage, uh, which is my name.com, marmikel.com. It's uh, in the first page. You can download the PDF of the same presentation. I can put as well the, the paper, which is uh, like 10 pages, not really long, but long enough to understand more the methodology and, and the keywords I, I chose. Uh, usually, the, the least replicated articles. Uh, Can you repeat the question? Yeah. 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 Are isolated articles isolated <coughs> because they're not notable, or because just they only have interest in one or, one or two languages? 
Well, the least uh, replicated are articles were uh, mainly those about personalities, which uh, can be important for recent history, but they were not uh, in the highlight of the history. Yeah. Any more questions? Well, uh, you, the way of approaching Wikipedia as an object with all its characteristics, the quantity, the relations between the, the articles, and also the words, I think it's applicable to any kind of content. So if you have a specific content that you want to, uh, to analyze, you can do it. And, and it's also comparable. Uh, I don't know if I am answering your question, but also I think that uh, this cultural configuration, it happens in many other uh, articles that the, they put first the point of view from the, the same language uh, because it's obvious this is where you're coming from. And uh, a secondary study I did on that was to use the same keywords and to see if they, to make a, like a, a big uh, survey on all articles to see where they appear. Let's say the gentilics and territories, uh, if they appear in other articles besides this local content. And 80% of the appearances were also in the local content. At least uh, these 20 left what is probably examples. When uh, explaining uh, something uh, in medieval history or uh, you're using examples about your own country which are not obvious to be used in other languages. Thank you very lot. Thank you very much. Um, it's the last time I'm going to ask. Is our first speaker here? The one that's supposed to speak the first? Okay, so he didn't come. So I think uh, Mr. Dirk Frank, which is our last and next and last speaker, will have some more time. Please welcome him. Thank you from the German Wikipedia. Um, the few Wikipedians who know me in here probably know me better as South Park, which is my Nick across projects. Um, and I will talk about Chiara Ohofen and um, some kind of working ethics. I guess nobody of, knows, of you knows Chiara Ohofen, but I hope at the end of the talk you will know her and you will know why I will talk about a strange German uh, C-list celebrity. I'm going to talk about a battle. A battle that is going on in Wikipedia, and that was an epic battle because it is about the soul of Wikipedia. This battle can be described as a battle of ideas, can be described as a battle of attitudes, um, but I will describe it as a battle of two people from one, which you can guess, is Kiara Ohofen. It's all safe. That's her, and she just says, those lips are real. It's all safe. As you can see, they are not. <laughs> Pretty obviously. So Kiara became a minor German celebrity when she did some plastic surgery on herself, on her lips, which a German comedian discovered who made fun of her for several weeks, and so other media discovered her. She got a small column in a German tabloid paper, and I was just a big buzz about Java Open in Germany for some months. So she is famous by birth because she has a very rich father, and she has a mother which is just high in society, 
and she actually became famous because she botched something, she made a mistake, she just was unable to do something. And still she lives in a world of happiness and glamour, of money, of parties, of fine living. And she really has done nothing to deserve it. It's unbelievable, nothing, just botching something. So. Now to something completely different. Just which has to do nothing with happiness, nothing with glamour, <laughs> just Wikipedia. So um, I will talk about the German Wikipedia first because it's the one I know the best. Uh, second, I think it's very obvious on the German Wikipedia, but I think it's all um, a matter of all Wikipedias because just, um, I mean, Wikipedians are pretty much the same everywhere. So it's just some, type, some kind of people. I will talk about women later on. <laughs> <laughs> um, first, I want to talk about the neutral point of view, from which every philosopher, which we will ask, will say you, doesn't work, doesn't exist. There is no neutral point of view. We just pretend that it is. Because um, the rules and the interpretation that we have in the project they show the values and attitudes of the members of the community and what they think is important, what is not, what they value, what they don't. And of course, these roots shape the content of the articles and of the encyclopedia. So, for example, notability guidelines show who is important, what is notable, and I mean, it doesn't show it in an abstract way, it shows what the Wikipedia community thinks are important people who are notable, what should be mentioned, what shouldn't, which of course shapes the neutral point of view. So some possible notability guidelines are about everything that can be sourced properly, which there are articles, everything that causes no problems. I mean, p articles that cause problems are articles about living persons, are articles about political subjects, artic articles about companies. So we just could just say, we don't want anything that's problematic, we just want easy ones like rocks, stones, bugs, rivers, anything. Or we can say we just uh, make it somehow, we negotiate, we talk to each other, we have some set of internal value. And I say in the German Wikipedia, these guidelines are influenced by ethical concepts which are central to Enlightenment and Modernism, which is the time of encyclopedias, of course, which we, where we take our ideas, and we have somebody who described it, which is the second person I will talk about, Max Weber. He's a sociologist at the beginning of the 20th century, and his work about is mostly of the end of the 19th century, about values and attitudes of his time. And the one thesis he is famous for is the Protestant work ethics, which of course is nothing about Chiara. And according to Wikipedia, Protestant work ethic means uh, work hard, be successful, reinvest the profits rather than free frivolous pleasures. Had to take action in order to be saved, which I think describes a lot of values of Wikipedians. Work hard. Don't be frivolous, be reliable, source your stuff. So, the perfect object of an article has worked hard, has merit, has achieved something in his life. He has shown virtue, he wasn't frivolous, no pleasure. Of course, no happiness, no glamour. It's not Protestant work ethics. It's an individual, it's 19th century liberalism, that's where individuals are, and uh, he is a man. At this time, everything was a man, was a male ethics, was just done for some hard-working male entrepreneurs. These lead to salvation, so if you worked hard, if you done proper, if you referenced your sources, if you quoted your articles, 
We can have salvation. Which the opposite. Is alles echt. <laughs> of her. No work, frivolous liver, pleasure, doesn't work hard, did nothing. As I said, just nothing, nothing. Which of course means, according to Max Weber, no salvation for Chiara. <laughs> which actually was a long discussion in the German Wikipedia. I just, uh, the first one, the second one, the third one, um, we had nine long discussions about if we should talk about Kriara, if she does fulfill the values of the German Wikipedia, which of course ended with no, no German article about, uh, about, about Kriara or Hofen. Sorry? I mean... It, uh, I mean, it shows that there was a discussion. I mean, I show a battle. I show a battle. I mean, there are two values which are eminent, and I talk about the um, ethic as a Protestant work ethic one. And as I just have a quote from um, the deletion discussion, that hits on Google, we don't care about daughter of, it's just, it's not her individual accomplishment she has. And present tell us not. <coughs> when, but <coughs> this is not limited to Chiara, of course. There are just some groups of people um, just deleted uh, relational after long discussions. Also, they are actually quite famous. There are a lot of people who care for them, who know about them. They've just done nothing in regard to Protestant work ethics. I have some examples. For Anham, the mother of Barack Obama, who has articles in English as well, some other languages, but not in German, because mother of is relational. We had eight attempts to write an article about her, no encyclopedic. We have an English glamour model from page three, which has a lot of articles. Eight attempts to write an article about her. Poor little starlet and big fashion sky. Starlet, fashion, little, it's all a bit fishy. As well a porn star, which didn't even went to a delicious discussion, <laughs> uh, which I actually was happy because um, I, I w wouldn't say that this is totally sexist, but when about talking porn stars, there can be very sexist uh, comments why we should delete them. I was um, happy not to quote anything of that. We have a singer from Mo Serbia. They had just three attempts to write an article about her. And actually, wi wives don't count for any Wikipedia. I um, searched long in the English Wikipedia. I searched a bit in other Wikipedias. I couldn't find, except for first ladies, no articles about wives of anybody. Yes? Ah, uh, there's less discussion, so that's no less problem. Um, it's hard to find any male sponsor which has a problem in Wikipedia. Was done. I mean, I mean, um, I mean, there are, there are hardly any known male porn stars. Porn stars normally are just <laughs> not normally are female, and the few male ones have make much less problems than the female ones. So, of course, you have no problem if you're an athlete, a scientist, and a an official. Um, I would say an athlete makes as much or as less difference on the world as a um, glamour person. But an athlete has done something. He has worked, he has trained hard, he has just um, fulfilled work ethics, while a glamour star hasn't. So, why? Yeah, achievements. They did something. They worked. They were great. For example, porn stars can get salvation. If you've been awarded something, if they've achieved something, if they've merited something. And we all know these prizes are totally bogus. German Wikipedia knows these prizes are bogus. They just give them away for whatever reasons. But it's a prize, it's an award. She did something, it's an achievement. So if you ask, is this bad? I mean, you can't say, 
Of course, we're in a Wikipedia, we care about scholarship, we care about knowledge. Of course, it could be good just to delete them, but as you could guess from my presentation, yes, it is bad. So you ask, why is it bad? One thing, no happiness, no glamour, I think it's just bad <laughs> as such. <laughs> I want happiness, I want glamour. Second one, um, an authorship that does not value happiness will be grumpingly at best. I mean, at least in German Wikipedia, I just feel like I'm in the midst of a lot of middle-aged, grumpy men, <laughs> which is just not an environment I'd like to be. It's like you know, they are very rude, they are very direct, they don't care for your feeling. That's not welcoming. It's not human, as said. Today? Yeah. And as the only main reason to take part is fun, just it's bad not to have anybody welcoming. The second one, why this is bad? We're living in the 21st century, and we are owned orientation is on 19th century values, which I can understand, which is the high time of encyclopedias, but it's just not today's world. Yeah, this is bad. We're trying to emulate the 19th century with the 21st century tool. That's bad. So um, we have a lot of time, it seems, since the first speaker wasn't here. <laughs> so if you have any questions, complaints, <laughs> anything, I'm due to, yeah? What? They have. As I mean, if there's a lot of literature about mothers, they have it, but it's not much about, I think, Karl Marx. His mother has some articles because they have written books about her. But I think Barack Obama is typical. As long as the mother itself isn't noteworthy for some literature or some big books or anything, we have no articles. My opinion. But for wives, I think, I, I mean, we have um, many articles, many Wikipedias have articles about first ladies, which have some kind of official function as well. I found nothing about just wives as such. Also, I think we're all sure that uh, some scientists without a wife would make different work. I mean, I can understand why it works, because it's easy to have it on a price, so you have no conflict. You can say price yes, price no, but the idea it says is preposterous. Uh, oh, so many of you. Are there, how many articles are there about fathers available today? Uh, because it seems uh, to me that you're trying to frame this in a sexist context. And no, 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 I, I, no, um, I mean, I, I'm sure there are more, fa there are a lot more articles about fathers. No, 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 let, 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 let me explain yesterday, I was, and I can explain why, because Barack Obama's father has written some book or did something. Um, so everybody, of course, cares about this person because he's Barack Obama's father. German notability guidelines care about him because he's written two books who has nobody read. And I mean, there's just, um, for, may, for fathers, it's just easy to fulfill some kind of other notability criterion. And of course, I say we live in a world where at least until recently it was much easier for men to fulfill this criteria as for women. Because women were full-time mothers. Men were part-time fathers and full-time scientists or whatever. So we do have a lot more articles about fathers. Um, I think you ask. Uh, 
That's true. I mean, my personal conclusion is uh, we should have an article about everything which we can source reliable, yes. which of course is biased in several thousand ways, which I know, but which is better than to have just some value laden whatever. But this is far away from concepts uh, like in any project. So I just, I'd be happy if people would be aware of the problem and would be aware that they of course have some values. I mean, I'm an educated male guy who just loves books. So of course I have Max Weber's ethics in me but at least I know that I have them. So I think it would be progress if Wikipedians as such would know their own values and their own attitudes. Yes? Um, in my opinion, it's about the German Wikipedia, and most Wikipedias are quite, um, are quite similar according to the community. I mean, most people who contribute to the German Wikipedia have gone to a German school, have gone to a German university, so they just are cultural similar, while the English Wikipedia just does cultures from all across the world. A majority, ah. actually, just uh, actually so that's, no, ma that's a huge no majority. It's a, it's a decision of the sysop. That's just you need some um, administrator who deletes it after discussion. Uh, see, that's a huge difference yes. English Wikipedia did delete the Pokemon that one day. Um, yes, uh, I think you have a long one. Yeah, um, I mean, what, what I say is just um, that it's typical for people, um, the, to the things of notability I, would, I talked about, which are not um, included in this working as it's just typical for women to be inside these categories. Because, I mean, many women who are just full-time mothers and wives, they're just not too many men who were full-time fathers who just did nothing else. So many of the husband and wives in, Germ in history, in German history, were just, um, did something else which could account for some kind of notability. So as I said about Barack Obama's father, who of course is important because he's a father, is in German Wikipedia, but not because he's a father, but because he did something else which he was um, required to do in a male-dominated world. 
it's just that the um, world view is suited to a male-dominated world, which we ha have had. So the um, encyclopedia just mirrors this. Martina? Um, I mean, in this, as Cardinal said, somebody said, the car in which Barack Obama drove his inauguration is relevant, his mother is not. Uh, so, uh, still so many, yeah. You okay? I know many German editors who are not editors anymore because they have no enjoyment anymore. I mean, of course, I mean, it's a one-sided picture. I think we have a Wikipedia which is working. I think just uh, this is a problem. We could have a much better Wikipedia if we would be more uh, about happiness, for example. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. As somebody, who as somebody who writes book, you don't have to be a celebrity. You just have to have done work and effort. And for f we, have, we have a difference for first ladies, which are not uh, somehow official. We have first ladies, which are the only wives we have, not because they're celebrities, because they, are some quasi they have some quasi function. But Obama's father isn't there because he's his father. He's, he's there because he wrote a book. Yeah, but he's famous, as, but he's a celebrity because... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so, so you, we c you can have coffee in two minutes, so you can discuss a lot. A lot of happiness. We have just one last question.